Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while since I filmed a what I wore in a week, so I thought I would do one now. Um, we are due some like cold autumnal weather I think this week, so I thought it'd be a good week to film one of these videos um, and I'm feeling really inspired at the minute, so yeah I thought I would start one today. It's actually Saturday and we are heading out for a content day. Um, this is my first look of four hopefully today. Um, I'm wearing the viral H&M cardigan. This is the Kate dupe one in the beige colour. Um, so many people have messaged me on Instagram to say they bought this and a few of you on YouTube have also commented to say you've got it as well. Um, so I'm so pleased you all managed to get one. Um, but yeah this is how I'm styling it today with an Abercrombie bodysuit. This is like a long sleeved one. Um, I wear it all the time and I actually need to get a backup because whenever this is in the wash I miss it um, because it's white you have to obviously wash it all the time um, but yeah then I've gone for some grey tailored trousers these are my ankle length H&M ones um, I've popped my Arquette like horse bit belt on with them um, I've gone for my ballet flats from M&S and my Celine bag um, so yeah, let's get going and I will catch up with you tomorrow for Sunday's outfit. So it's now a Sunday and I am just ready to go out. Um, yesterday we ended up having a bit of a fail with the content day because we shot one outfit, then got changed and then got caught in a torrential downpour and got absolutely soaked. So we had to abort the mission and we ended up having a really nice day. Um, we went for some lunch and then and we met my auntie and her partner for some drinks afterwards because they were in Manchester. Um, and then we came home and had a cosy evening on the sofa with the dog. Um, so yeah, it was a nice day all in all, but just not the most productive. So we're going for round two today and trying again. It's hopefully going to stay really nice and bright today. So fingers crossed that we managed to get the content done. Uh, but this is my first look. I bought this gorgeous navy pinstripe coat from Cars about like a month ago, I think. And this is my first time I'm actually wearing it. Um, the temperature has completely dropped. I think today it is like 9 or 10 degrees, so it is freezing. Um, so yeah, perfect time to whip out this coat. It's like a maxi length and it's coming up black on the camera, but it is like a gorgeous navy pinstripe. And then it's got this really nice detachable scarf situation, which I just love. Um, I've not got it sorted out quite right right now because I've put my bag over the top, but I will play around with it in a second and make it look right. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this coat. Um, and then I've gone for a navy mini skirt. This is like a wool, I don't know if it's a 100% wool or a wool blend, um, but it's from Arquette and I love it. I got it last year but they still have it in stock now so I will leave that linked and um, then I've gone for some black tights and black boots from Mango. Um, my top is the same bodysuit that I had on yesterday. Um, my bag is my Celine Triumph again and then my sunglasses are also Celine. Um, I don't know if any of you follow me on TikTok but I did a unboxing of some bits I picked up from a matches fashion sample sale I went to recently. Um, these Celine glasses were one of the pieces um, but I got so so much good stuff and like these glasses were like £75 um, so yeah it was all really well priced so I will leave the TikTok unboxing I did linked in case any of you haven't seen it um, but yeah, that is today's outfit of the day. So it's now Monday and I'm just about to head off into town. I've got a few bits to return and I thought I'd just have a look around the shops. Um, I've actually ended up going for a very kind of overdressed, quite fancy outfit, um, unintentionally, but I wanted to wear this new jacket I got. Um, so yeah, I've gone for a very kind of dressed up look for just running errands. Um, this is from Abercrombie. It arrived very recently and I love it. Um, it's their take on the cropped jacket and it comes in a few different colours but I already have a green one and a black one so I went for this like speckled black, white and grey option. Um, I did size up in this because on the website it looks like it 
it was quite a slim fit. Um, I normally wear either an extra extra small or an extra small in Abercrombie, um, but I went for a small in this. And it's definitely roomy, um, but I don't think it looks like too big or oversized or anything. Um, so yeah, just something to bear in mind with the sizing. Um, and then I've just got a classic cashmere knit underneath this one is from H&M. Um, and then my trousers are my Arquette trousers, my faithful, trusty Arquette trousers. I literally wear these non-stop. They serve me so, so well. Um, and then I've gone for ballet flats, which I don't normally do with these trousers, but I've been inspired by a lot of people on Instagram, like the cool kind of Scandi girls always wear ballet flats with their trousers. So I thought I would give it a go. And to be honest, I don't know if trainers would really work with this look anyway. Um, but yeah, these are my Prada ballet flats. And then my bag is Demelia London. So it is now Tuesday and it's been a really nice day today. So I have taken advantage and got some filming done. Um, I've just finished filming a chocolate brown outfit styling reel. Um, it's definitely my favorite color at the minute. I am obsessed and can't stop wearing it. So I thought I would do a reel of a few different ways I have been styling it recently. Um, hopefully, well, I imagine that will have already gone up so if it turned out okay then I will leave it linked below um, but this was one of the outfits from the real one of the more casual comfy ones um, so I've just left it on because oh, Wally's got a blooming hanger can you drop that please excuse me don't take it under the sofa honestly that dog is obsessed with hangers and whenever he gets the opportunity to steal one, he will. So I'll have to get that off him in a sec. Uh, but yeah, this is my outfit now. I'm actually going to keep this on because um, Aiden's just on a work call. And then I think we're going to take the dog out for a walk. Um, so I'm wearing this brown cashmere jumper from Cos. This is new and I love it. Um, it's quite a like slim fit. So I did size up to a small. And I would say if you do prefer like a more relaxed fit to your knitwear, then and definitely size up um, and then my jeans are from Abercrombie these are the 90s ultra high straight leg ones which I'm obsessed with um, in this darker wash which I got like a couple of months ago um, maybe a month ago now and I absolutely love them and wear them non-stop um, and then I've got my M&S ballet flats on. I don't know why my camera wants to focus on anything that I'm not talking about. Um, but yeah, these ballet flats are M&S. Um, my bag is Cos. I feel like a cool girl with this bag. I've wanted one for ages. Um, I think it's inspired by the Row banana bag originally. Um, but I think they're really cool. And for like casual day to day, um, I really like them. And obviously it's crossbody, so you don't need to worry about carrying it or anything. Um, and then my trench coat is Rosé Paris. Honestly, just in love with this piece. I feel like it is the perfect tone. A really nice, slightly oversized fit gorgeous quality and yeah it really reminds me of the totem trench coat but much less expensive um so yeah that is today's casual look so it's now Wednesday and it has been absolutely miserable this afternoon. Um, as you might be able to tell from how grey the background is looking currently. Um, I haven't actually been out yet today. I've been having a bit of an admin day editing the content that I filmed yesterday. Um, and then I was trying on some outfit ideas, this being one of them. Um, I wanted to think of a few more kind of like cosy casual outfits because it's now cold enough to be wearing knitwear um, and I decided to just stay in this outfit for the rest of the day. Um, so I'm wearing this really cozy incredibly soft cashmere jumper. This is a good few years old now and I can't actually remember the name of the brand that it's from um, but I will leave something similar linked but I bring this back out every year. I actually shaved it with my fabric debobbler before so it's looking good as new and ready for another season um, and then I've styled it with my my Abercrombie jeans. These are the same style as the um, ones I was wearing yesterday, but they are the like lighter, like medium kind of wash. Um, definitely my most worn jeans ever. Um, absolutely love them. And then I've got on my chestnut 
ultra mini Uggs, the coziest shoes ever. And then obviously I haven't been wearing the shoes and the bag because I've not been out yet today. Uh, but I think I would style this look with my Palen. I think this is called the Seema bag, Seema, I don't know how you pronounce that. But I absolutely love this bag. It's like a cream canvas with this like tan, like cognac color leather. And I just thought it went quite cute with the look. Um, but yeah, I am about to get changed now actually because I'm heading to a reformer Pilates class. Um, so if I have time and it isn't too dark, then I will show you my outfit for that as well. Okay, literally just about to head out the door, but I thought I would quickly show you my workout set. Um, I actually just ordered this navy t-shirt from Adenola to go with my leggings. I already have the sports bra, but I thought for winter it'd be nice to have something a little bit more covered up. Um, I also ordered this in the brown colour as well. I went for the small in this one because the extra small was out of stock. But I did get the um, brown in the extra small. And I'd say that the extra small in the body fits much better. Whereas I've got a little bit more room in the small on my arms. So yeah, you could size up if you wanted to, to keep it a little bit more comfortable. But I probably prefer the fit of the smaller one. Um, so yeah, just for sizing reference with Adenola. Um, and then obviously the leggings are also Adenola. And I wear the extra small regular length in these. Um, and then my trainers are New Balance. And I'm just going to throw my puffer coat on because it is raining. I'm miserable. So it's now Thursday and it's been another at home admin day for me. Um, in hindsight, I probably didn't pick the most exciting week to film this video on. But to be honest, it is just my general day-to-day -day routine. So it is a realistic what I want in a week at least. Um, but I'm just about to take Wally out for a walk. Aiden's been in the office today, so it's just been us two. And he's been asleep like all day. And then now, as I am filming this clip, he has just woken up and wants to play. Um, so definitely time for a walk. Um, so this is what I am wearing. Hello. I've got on this cardigan from Pretty Lavish that literally just arrived last night. Um, so I put it straight on today. It is just so cozy, really, really soft, really comfortable. It's got these like two zips so you can kind of wear it fully undone or you can just zip them up as you want. Um, and then the little collar detail. Absolutely love it. Um, it's from an edit that they are doing with an influencer called Ada. And I think it actually launches the day after this video goes live and um, so you should be able to get your hands on it if you want it and I feel like this piece will definitely sell out because it is so gorgeous and just perfect for the winter months ahead um, I've just got on a t-shirt bodysuit underneath this is from Abercrombie um, my leather trousers are also Abercrombie um, these are the ankle length ones I do actually have these in the shorter length as well but they are quite short so I decided to get the regular length as well um, just so I can wear them with trainers and like dressed up with heels and my ankles not be cold um, so yeah I've got those on with my Adidas Sambas um, and that is the look. I just need to grab a coat and a bag and we are good to go. Okay, so I thought I would go for a tonal grey look. Um, I've just thrown on my And Other Stories wool coat. I got this last year and I wore it so much, but it's actually my first time wearing it this season. Um, I will leave it links though because they definitely still do this style. Um, and then my bag is a Ganny, kind of a glamorous bag considering I'm just going to be carrying poo bags and treats but there you go. So I've had a bit of an outfit change because I am actually heading out this evening to go for a little wine date with my cousin which will be so nice because I've not seen her for a good few weeks. Um, I was actually really really hot in all those layers before. It's not actually that cold today so I'm going for a little bit of like a lighter knit. Um, this is a cashmere knit from Mango. I love this cropped length. I think it is so cute and the colour is just gorgeous. Um, I actually wore this full outfit a couple of weeks ago when we went to London to shoot some content so you might have already seen it on my Instagram uh, but these trousers are from Arquette you will have seen these in a recent haul that I did 
um, and I've got them on with my trainers. These are my Chunky New Balance. Haven't had these taken up and could do with them being maybe like a couple of centimeters shorter, but I really like that like relaxed vibe. So I think for petites, they do work with like a chunkier trainer. Um, I'm gonna be walking and where we're going is pretty casual anyway, so I don't need anything fancier. Um, and then my belt is from Reese. This is like the perfect chocolate brown tone to go with the pants. Okay, and then I've chucked on my H&M coat over the top. Again, this one is super old. I think I've had this for three years now, but they have brought it back. Um, they've just changed the button on it, but I'm pretty sure the shape is the exact same. And from what I can tell on the website, the material is still the same as well. Um, and then I've got on this new bag, which is from a brand called Paris 64 it's the most gorgeous like matte leather it almost feels like a suede but it's definitely like a normal leather and this like beige tone is just absolutely perfect great size um, and yeah obviously crossbody so nice and easy to carry um, I potentially got like too many beige tones going on here but I don't have a brown coat so this one will do um, and I think like when it's kind of closed up, you can't really tell. And obviously the bag goes so nicely with the coat. Hello, so it's now Friday and I apologize for the horrendous lighting, but we are just about to head out for a Friday night date night. We're going for pasta, which I am so excited about and have been waiting for for like all week. Um, I've gone for an outfit very much in my comfort zone. It's kind of a little bit boring maybe, but it is so stormy and windy outside so I thought something like comfortable and like quite warm was going to be the best option. So I'm wearing this top from Pretty Lavish. This is from the new collection or the new edit with Ada which launches the day after this video goes live. I um, really really like the off the shoulder style of this and I think it comes in a few colours as well but I like this like oatmeal beige colour. Um, and then my jeans are my Abercrombie jeans that I was wearing the other day. Uh, my boots are years old from Topshop, but I've never found a more flattering pair of ankle boots than these. So they are still going strong. Um, and then my bag is from Ganny, and I'm just going to grab my black coat to go over the top. Um, so yeah, that is tonight's look and I believe I've done a week of outfits now. So I am going to end the video here. Um, sorry if my outfits weren't all that exciting this week because I've pretty much just been at home like the entire week um, But hopefully you enjoyed seeing some like realistic outfits for autumn um, Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you for my next video